Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. And welcome back to my channel here at Sander TV. Well, in this episode or in this video, I want to share with you how you can, for all the users out there, we are using DaVinci Resolve. And in my case, it's DaVinci Resolve 17. How to get rid of all that noise that you get when you're filming a video outside. <laughs> In your video to pop up this is the way under davinci to resolve how to solve it actually so if you're curious feel free to watch this video all to the end welcome to my channel like to share and subscribe to this channel so you have get it always get updates about how to make beautiful videos for your business or even to impress your family members okay well, today in DaVinci Resolve, I start immediately in the screen that I'm sharing here with you today. And I already prepared a, lot, a couple of things for you out there, especially for those who are already experienced with how to work under DaVinci Resolve. Well, um, as you can see here, I already, for the sake of this video, I already prepared a, a movie that I want to share with you, a swap movie. So I'm going to paste this here to the timeline. And as you can see here, um, you see, yeah, just a couple of trees, but what we're mo most interesting is about how you can edit your sounds in your videos itself. Well, on the top bottom here, the tab number six, that's Firelight. We're gonna click on that. And what will happen here is that you will see all the uh, sound um, tracks that you have in your video. So one for the left and one for the right. But in this case, in this video, I want to share with you how to find an option about how to reduce the noise in your video to get rid of the noise that you won't pop up or you want to get uh, heard by your audience. Well, in this case, we're here under the Fairlight tab. And for those, if you don't have, the, we have the mixer here on the left side. And for those who don't have the mixer, let me get rid of my face a little bit here. Uh, for those who don't have the mixer, all you can do is here, ups, when you go up, you press it and it's gone and you press it when it's here again. Well, we're particularly interested here about adding effects because uh, sound uh, noise reduction, it's uh, a sound effect that DaVinci Resolve has. So we click here under effects and in case if you don't have it, you can also click on the three dots there and you just select effects so that it's visible because if you don't do that, it, uh, you can search everywhere, you won't find it. But here under effects, when you have that, we just click on the plus sign. And as you can see here, we are under the uh, soundtrack A1. And here on the left side, you can see we are also working for the sound effects on the A1. We go here to effects and we choose the last option and that is the noise reduction. What will happen here is you see here um, an audio one slot one you see the noise reduction option the screen here and i will um, try to explain with you what everything means actually uh, here on the front here above you will see uh, what we're um, what we're working about it's the default in this case it's noise reduction and here with this button you can put the noise reduction on or off and if you're actually listening for the track only, only want to listen what kind of noise you have, we put this one a little bit to the side and you can hear what will happen. And probably I'm actually using my uh, earphones here. So. And in this video, you will hear some sounds, but for the sake of this recording, um, only I can hear it. But in my case, uh, you see, you hear a lot of wind blowing and you will see a little bit of humming from me uh, at the background because when I make this video, I always try to imagine myself about, okay, how do I make this video under the Vinci Resolve? What kind of music do I want to add? What kind of environment? So I'm actually already, uh, I'm humming a little bit on it, but okay, when we see that, okay, when you see here on this frame here, you have a couple of options. This is the threshold. The threshold, that means everything that we have here, it's on the, uh, standard values 
And if I were you, especially in the beginning, I won't uh, I won't play with too uh, with it too much, because uh, you really have to take the time of it about learn thing how it is. Well, the threshold uh, it what it actually says is that it will tell you about okay, there's a certain barrier or threshold that you have to maintain, where the noise reduction option will kick in or not. And the second one, the attack, that has everything to do about okay, when the system hears a kind of noise. What is the appropriate from what what level do you want the noise reduction to kick in on that particular sound effect? And the third one, the sensitivity, it's all about more okay, how sensitive do you want, how how much you want the noise reduction option to reduce the noise or not, how sensitive it has to become, or if you uh, decide, okay, I want to take away all the wind noise, but Actually, I find it quite funny to have uh, to hear myself a little bit more humming on the background. You can also um, adjust it here with the sensitivity option. And the ratio, it has all to do with the ratio about how much noise and with how much normal noise you want to have in your video. And the smoothing, um, I would leave it as it is like now. But here on the output, and that's the most easiest part of this option here, the dry wet option. Well, if you press it all the way to down to dry, actually what it happens is it won't do anything at all because it just uh, the sound what it is there, that's what you hear. But the dry wet, the more wet you get it, you put it here or yeah here. If you double click it, it's on the standard values. Um, that means then, okay, uh, the more uh, you uh, slide it more to the wet side, that means that it will um, try to resolve the noise reduction that you have in your video. And with the level, it's all about the sound, the decibels, how much sound you want to suppress it for your video, yes or not. Well, and, and another thing here, what I want to share with you is also about, okay, we have the video here. Let me just play it. I will hear a little bit more of the wind. And as I said, mentioned before, the humming of me, of my voice. And that's something that I want to reduce. It's more the humming in this case. So in this case, I would say, okay, you know what? Um, let, let the system learn here. We have an option here to learn. So you let auto, uh, DaVinci Resolve learn to recognize um, what the noise is in your video and what isn't. Let's see what it is. Okay. It's take a while. It's just a short video of 15 seconds. Okay, that's it. And now if I play replay it, the same file here. And you still in this case, you will still hear some of the humming and the wind in the background. So what it means is that the system couldn't recognize exactly what it's considered as background noise. And what is it? So in this case, what we do is we're going to put the attack level a little bit higher. And the dry wet, we're going to put a little bit higher there. And no, we still hear a lot of them. So we put the sensitive a little bit higher. My advice is here to play just a little bit more with all the options that you have here. So you know for sure, okay, what works, what doesn't. But my advice to you is just start with a small file so you get used to it, how everything works, the system, what it actually means. And actually there, that's also the reason why I make this video is that you get to learn about how to use the Fincher Resolve for your video projects. And in this episode, particularly about how to uh, reduce the noise uh, noise reduction in your videos. I would um, say that um, 
try to find it out, try to play with it. And if you have any questions about it, just let me know beforehand. And thank you for listening and watching this video. And I like to hear from you what your experience is about using this option under DaVinci Resolve. And once again, I would say with the close it, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel so you will get updated with every new video that I post here and especially all the beautiful videos what I really want to share with you in this coming period. Oh, wait, thank you very much and 